In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make wires like this, which is similar to the ones in Oxygen Not Included. Yeah, I'll show you the reference images in the game in the minute. So here we are inside our base in Oxygen Not Included. For the reference images, I'm going to show you this. This is our reference here. So you can see that there are these single wires that are a bit coiled and there are some breakers over here at the end that repeats itself and at the end there is a plug which we won't be modeling because whenever we are putting this in our actual model it will always be connected to some kind of appliances so yeah there won't be any plugs visible over here but i will show you a way when how this is available and you can make it yourself also the conductive wire and the heavy watt wire can be made in similar ways i will just show the process for this wire because it is the simplest one so with that being said let's get back to blender now that we're back in Blender, let's make a new file and let's get started on making this wire using the geometry nodes. And before that, let me just show you the node setup for this one. It might look quite daunting at the first sight, but trust me, it's pretty simple once you get to know what is going on in what part. Let's make a new file and make it general. I will get rid of the bulb and the cube and the camera since we don't need those. I'm gonna add a bezier curve and yeah, I think I will just let it be that. Just increase the size a bit. And then I will go straight into the geometry nodes workflow. In the geometry nodes workflow, I will make a new geometry node setup. Now let's just extend this a bit. Let me just bring in a subdivide node, subdivide curve, and let's make the number of curves to be 12. So, okay, let the number of curves be 11 because the total number of curves will be 11 plus 1, 12. Okay, now that is in place. Let's make a profile curve. So, profile curve will be basically the. So, right now it is just a point line. It, uh, uh, there is no actual depth or anything to it. So I will, we will add a provide. So yeah, so basically we need to convert it into a mesh. I will take the node curve to mesh. Here it is. And before I just plug it in, okay, let's plug it in already. And I will take a circle node. Let's take it a curve circle and put it right here. And okay, this is too much big. Let's reduce the radius to 0.1 and you can see that there is some sort of fill to it and I can enable the fill caps to just you know fill the cross section of the wire and I will just adjust it to 0.01 I guess or 0.02 whichever will be better. Okay so now there is there so what we need in the wire is a twisted we need a, a twisted wire so two of these things will be winding around each other. So for that first we need to get two wires so for that what i will gonna do i'm gonna take this curve circle and make two instances of it so shift a okay wrong s transform i will take one transform here and another transform here and I will join their geometry now you won't see any difference right now but if I just do this now each of them I'm gonna move them in either of the axis for now I will just move them along the axis uh, by a distance of let's see 0 0.2 and minus 0 0.2 okay my bad maybe not see why was the one yeah And minus 0 0.2. Okay. Reduce it to 0 0.1. Yeah, that is better. So yeah, it is a distance apart, and none of them. We're gonna move both of them because we don't want a single of them at the origin and another uh, at the other of them at the offset. We want we want to offset them both at the same time, but at the opposite directions. So that makes it better, and the main and the main curve stays in the middle. So yeah, it may seem like the main curve is in the middle, actually it is and we are just instancing these two profile curves onto the main curve, if that makes sense. Now that this is done, uh, controlling these values seems a bit difficult, so 
I will also reduce this resolution to 10 because it doesn't matter it's pretty small so that uh, now that this rate this uh, separation value can be controlled with the radius itself I will create a integer node and connect the value to here let's set the radius to okay wait a minute not an integer I forgot totally forgot I will take a value node and make it 0 0.05 and let's say I will pull out a maps node take the input here and let's answer it to multiply and let's say I want the separation of between these two to be double of the double the radius so I will multiply it with 2 okay and the value I want to be put into the y so I cannot put the transform well, transform uh, points here takes in three dimensional values so I will take a combine XYZ I will put the value to the Y value here and point in the vector in here and in here but for this one I need uh, a negation so I will just simply copy this and put it here make it subtract and make it subtract from zero sorry it's a three dimensional data so I'll have to do vector math uh, subtract here there you go so now the separation can be controlled by this single value itself I will just put it at 0 0.05 that seems a sweet spot. Now that this part is done, let me just put it in a frame. Uh, control G. Okay, no, not Control G. Control Z. Control J. Yeah, that puts it in the frame. I will just name the frame as fill circle. There you go. Now to make the cables twisted, I will need another node which literally twist the curve on a, on its a local z axis uh, the node question is set curve tilt okay i can make the tilt to be 90 degrees or something but it is tilting the whole curve and not by parts so for that we need to manipulate this selection over here okay not the selection i'm sorry for that we need to set up uh, some parameters let's taken some spline parameters and we'll use this index to tell what tilt we want just a second okay my bad can't really do things two things at a time yeah. okay and i will just set it to multiply and there you go by increasing this increasing this value will increase the number of will increase the number of uh, wines you have now so that it is just a bit visible let me just sub let me just pull it around some more there you go sorry not the index I meant to do the length so yeah the number of yeah so like this the number of uh, bindings will be distributed equally over the length for this curve yeah 5 seems to be the sweet spot or maybe just six. yeah 6 looks a bit better okay and I will set it into another frame this time label it as curve twist now next up I need to add those little blockers in between which which exists uh, randomly between the wire so to do that I will need to model a separate mesh inside the geometry nodes 
so i will take a cylinder and two cylinders actually because uh, if you notice in the game properly it's usually made up of two parts one big part and one small part. for this one uh, i will just first join these two to preview them which makes it a bit easier to model now to do the shortcut that I did, you need to have the node wrangler add-on enabled and with that enabled, you need to just alt shift and click on the node to directly connect it to the output node and that way you will see your output right here. Now for the depth, I will go with 1 meter, will be on overkill, uh, 0 0.1 could be okay, 0 0.1. For the radius, uh, it can be a bit more than this radius over here, so yeah, 0 0.1 seems good. And the second one should be a bit smaller or maybe just a bit spaced from the first one. So as usual, transform nodes here and here. In this case, I can just displace only one. So I will display the second one to little bit in the Z axis. Okay, a bit too much. That was a bit too much. And the depth of the second one can be there. I go. Okay, just minus. Yeah. So this looks good enough for that. Uh, the depth can be a bit more. Yes. Okay, yeah, this seems good enough. So the depth and the radius values, I can also connect them to this value right here that determines the radius of the wires so that way the thing changing this one single value will can make it proportional to all of them so for that what i'm going to do is first take a math node and you need to pay a bit of attention over here because things are going to get really messy and i'm going to multiply some value let's say seven and put it to the radius okay a bit too Okay, 2 was good uh, and to the radius of this one as well. I'm going to take the same value and multiply it with uh, 0.5. Yeah, half. Put it into the depth. Now, as you can see, the second one has lower depth than the first one. So, to define the depth of the second one, second, uh, second part of the cylinder. I will take another multiply this time make it 0 0.3 and plug it into the depth of the screen okay now there is another parameter which is this displacement so for that let's duplicate from here we're gonna add the two values which are this depth and this depth then make it into a negative number uh, subtract 0 then uh, combine XYZ plug it into the Z and plug it into the vector okay and yeah it looks a bit messy but I'm sure you understood if you're watching this closely and just tweak those values a bit and it will seem okay so let's see 0 0.35 maybe Enough or maybe 
yeah so that we will that uh, that proportion we will know only after we uh, join it with the wire so let's just do that uh, let's put it in a group and to put it on the wire we will use instance on points and these are the instances not the points i will get the points from this curve right here and okay we're getting there let's put a join geometry and there you go okay as i figured out it is way too small yeah now we are talking so we will figure that out later first let's make this uh, rotation proper so for that rotation we will gonna need an align node and a curve tangent so what a curve tangent does so what a curve tangent does is it returns the vector which which is aligned along the tangent of the curve at a given point so i took this input and converted it into vectors and i plugged it into the rotation and look it's all aligned well now another thing we can do is and tell is to tell the curves how many times around to instance it so we're going to manipulate this selection over here for that i will use a math node make it into modulo where are you? Yeah, there you go. I will use an index. The index indicates the index of the point as the first value. Second value is going to be an integer. And there you go. Let's say the integer is 1 or 2. So what it's going to do, it's, it is going to the selection what it does is by default it takes in uh, wherever it is value is zero it won't it won't put the object instance over that point so what is what the it is currently doing on two is that it is putting it is not putting the instance on every two points so that is the opposite of what we want so shift a s we'll use a boolean math node over here and we'll use a not so now it is putting the instance on every two points okay and let's ramp it up to about four something divisible by 12. a4 looks fine or maybe just three okay all right four is better. okay cool now we need to do something about this yeah, and this looks a bit too far so I will multiply 0 0.6 Yeah, that still seems to be closed down a bit 2 and 0 0.4 5 6 Yeah, whatever, whatever looks better So yeah, just fine tune this values and till you get the one value you are lo that looks good for you Six, yeah, six looks good enough. Yeah, these few should be good. So I'm gonna frame this one too. Instance breaking object. Okay, looks good enough. Now for the materials, because you know, I've uh, I wanted to show this because you know the each strand of the wire has different materials, right? So yeah, let's just make a few materials. Uh, let's say we go with red. Let's name the material red. And let's go with the blue. And let's name this let's see, uh, metallic one. It should be better okay now that said uh, 
yeah we are gonna take a set material node material gonna put is metal on these ones now i want to ask what material how are you gonna put the materials on these wires individually we cannot put the materials on here because these are not on this transform node because the thing it is transforming it's not a mesh and materials can be put on a mesh and it will be displayed on a mesh if you want you can try it out if i put a set material in here and put a blue nothing changes so how we are going to do that is we are going to convert each of these to a separate mesh by itself so look at this t and shift t okay uh, curve will not be this one curve will be this one a bit more please thank you and the curve will be this one these are gonna still be the profile curves and this geometry is gonna go and join it there. so now you see it still works uh, let me just adjust the a bit so you can see it better and yeah so what I did was I took each of these circles now since the both of the circles are separated I made in, made this into a mesh separately and then joined them so which lets me to add materials to them separately for example let's see now if i set the material red here and blue here now it works and voila you have your own wires set up here with all the materials ready in the same way we can make conductive wire and have a heavy watt wire for the upcoming videos when the oxygen not included series thank you for watching and if you like this video consider liking it and subscribe if you want more content from the channel and this blend file and the other blend blend the blend files for the other uh, buyers will be available on come road please do check it out thank you and see you in the next video